Well, it's Juker showing. That's weird. Shredder's That's not Mr. X. Shredder's Re Revenge? That's oh, not Mr. X. I see. Welcome to Ninja Turtles Shredder's Re Revenge. When Shredder has a stutter. Okay, that's happening. I know the bug's happening that I've been hunting down. Yay. Nice. Yay. Yay. Um. Let me get the raid. We've had one revenge, yes, but what about second revenge? I played this the other day with Cole. Uh, I showed him and I was like, hey, do you, you want to play? It's these little fuckers. I hate them. Why does Casey run around like he's some sort of, like, brain-dead behemoth? That's how he runs around in Shredder's Revenge. So, uh, if anyone wants to ask any questions about streaming still, uh, I figure, why not, why not just try and do a, a one run of this? Go, 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 go. Ah oh, yes, the infamous foot. See, I would've just called him Goon. Oh, gotta love programming because for some reason my code editor is currently taking like 200% on every core. Yep, okay. sounds about right. IDs fucking suck and yet they're so useful. Sure. Audio during streams. Yeah, of course, that's what we're doing. It's all about asking questions about streaming, yeah. Pizza time. Pro strat, you, you let them uh, get stunned for a little bit. You don't do a full combo. You can't pick up weapons in this. Uh, characters can't pick up weapons for some reason. Weird. Fucking knife gals, yeah, get out of here. Wait, nice I, thought you said you couldn't pick up, I thought you said you couldn't pick up weapons. I'm playing as Casey, though. Casey has, like, hockey sticks. Yeah, but you were literally just beating a dude with the pipe. No, I, I dropped it immediately. Did you? Yes. That, that is how the sack works. See? Not just because I got hit, but, like, watch. See? I'm waiting for it to come up. Oh, uh, okay. It just looked like you're hitting them with a pipe. You want to ask about raids? Um, my advice is uh, raid a channel you believe in. That's what I do. I pretty much only raid channels that uh, I know. And I'm like, oh, hey. I know who this is. I think they're a really good streamer. I'd like to chat them out. You know, they're cool. They deserve the follows. How to not make your voice sound a bit too muffled. Um... If it's about audio, are you, are you, what kind of mic are you using, I guess, is a better question. One of the big things, I know I do this still, uh, speak as though if you're actually talking to someone in the room. Yeah, that's what I do. I actually have to no. raise your voice up because you, you, can't, you can't just like keep your voice down, you know, and just be uh, awfully quiet as though you're mumbling to yourself. No, you gotta be loud. You gotta speak to the room. Yeah. Keep things entertaining. What's going on, my fellow gamers? Welcome. Be sure to like and subscribe. Click that bell. Today's sponsor is, of course, HelloFresh, Blue Apron, OnlyFans, Redbox. Uh, raid Shadow Legends? Come on now. No, I, I, I don't do raid. I thought you were going to do raid simply because they're going to give you a shitload of money for nothing. Nope. I, I turn them down every time. Over really? 50. Over 50 times they've asked me. I have a list. <laughs> Damn. That's I do hilarious. not care about the money. 
I've told them I, I will never do it, and they keep asking. So I, I don't even reply anymore. Automated. Yeah, so I, I don't even reply anymore. I'm just like, nope. Which studios? What about World of Tanks? Or whatever well, I told world you earlier, Pete's people. Eleven. I've never used P uh, Twitch Studios. I can't answer that for you. Sorry. So, out of curiosity, Jigger, why, why no Rage Shadow Legends? Uh, I wouldn't like the game, and uh, I would want to absolutely fucking complain about it, and they do not want that. Oh wait, they yeah. require you to play the game? I thought you just had to be like, go play Raid Shadow Legends. No, they want you to stream the game. Oh. I mean, that makes sense. Hey, hello, how you doing? Headset microphone. Uh, my advice, you could probably get like a, a Yeti is a really good microphone that I use. Some people say they don't like it. Just set it to cardioid and uh, it works great. You don't have to have a fancy microphone either. I'm pretty sure Dan still uses a headset mic. He uses a shitty yeah. headset mic and he gets the job done. I mean, it used to be even worse. Remember when it was the dentist drill? Oh, I know. What? I can change mine to shit quality if you feel like it. Here's a here's a fun one. If you still got a rock band laying around, go steal a microphone yeah. from that. The rock band because microphones are unironically some of the best microphones out there. If you're wondering what a rock band microphone is, if you're wondering what a rock band mic sounds like, uh, this is what it sounds like, because I still Whoa, have hi. one. <laughs> yeah, I'm using That's it crazy. too. <laughs> yeah. The Rock Band microphone is unironically good. Wait, how so come yours weird. sounds better than mine? <laughs> because it's for the PS3. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I have no idea what mine was for. Uh, so actually, just too. The, the thing about being on your lap to hear you, my mic is two fingers away from my mouth right now. Yeah because I have it a monitor on. Like, it being super close to you doesn't really matter. If you can rig it up so that it's right in front of you and it sounds nice because of it. What the fuck? Why am I getting comboed? Wow, get fucked. Oh my god. Far my, mine is far from my face. Dude, it does not combo like this in normal Streets of Rage. You know what I think I need? I think I need one of those, like, uh, mic stands that's like you clamp onto your desk so I can like oh yeah that's mic up that. right next to my uh I, I just have my Yeti just right in front of me and then I have okay. uh, an RTX graphics card which I I will not recommend an RTX graphics card unless you absolutely need it and uh for me you know good for games I play but also mm -hmm. uh cancels out noise oh, that I don't like Huh, here's, I didn't realize that. A, yeah, RTX voice. Tip, uh, time thief. If you do get a, one of the clamping ones for your desk, uh, try to get something else that's next to this to clamp it on because it will pick up sounds of whatever you tap onto your desk. Mm -hmm. That's what. That's one of the things I was afraid of. Great. Like this. Nobody I mean, can hear not me like, uh, wow. knocking on my desk right now because of RTX voice. You know who <laughs> can hear me if she was awake? Lonely. And. Uh, you're never gonna get an answer uh, on if I was really knocking or not. That's how good RTX uh, voice is. What, what uh, type of uh, card do you need? Does it work on like two six twenty sixties or anything? Or it's not RGB. It's it's just RTX voice. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's part of the Nvidia suite. It's not tied to your graphics card. Okay. Yeah. If you, if you have a graphics card that is good enough, you could use this. Maybe I'll have to look into that. I mean, oh, when you say, yeah, uh, they, they put it out starting with the 10 series, but I think it was backwards compatible with the 9 series. Well, well, I have a, what was it, 2060. Yeah, so that's a 20 series, you're fine. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. So far, I don't know. There you go. Mm. Mm. Super stop getting hit, man. Thanks. Pizza time. I hate them harder. I feel like they made this game way harder for single player, which is weird because like I played this the other day with Cole and did not run into these issues. What was it called? Nvidia. 
um... It's, well, it's specifically RTX voice, but I believe they call it NVIDIA broadcast or something like that. And there's yeah, just a noise right. cancellation AI thing that is just incredible. You can also alter stuff on OBS and stuff. Yeah, he's go on sale all the time. Snowballs aren't hard to get either. Snowballs yeah. aren't very good. I don't recommend snowballs. Well, uh, what kind of blue Yeti would you recommend then? The Yeti. Yeti. That, that's the one. There's a mic called the Yeti. Oh, that's... that's... The, the, the company oh, is blue. right. Right. Yeah, it's yeah. blue. Yeah, I forgot the blue Yeti. Yeti. Yeah. I forgot the blue Yeti and blue Snowball are two different... Pro right, okay. So, the one thing I always tell people is, if there's a big AAA game that's come out in the last six months that you actually give a fuck about, uh, oftentimes, Yeti will 100% just package a digital copy of that with, uh, with a Yeti for pretty cheap. Hmm. We have two Yetis in my house because of that. It what literally costs an extra 20 bucks. Uh, originally, I got Assassin's Creed Origins because I was, you know, interested in the whole, it's Egypt, and that game turned out to be Dookie. And then, hmm. what was the other one I got from it? I'd have to, I'd have to look way, way back because that was one of the first ones I got, which might have been Dead Space? Dead Space 3? Might have been 2. Oh my god, Jesus. Secret Life? It, it, it was like, it was a AAA game, but I mean, I've had one of my Yetis for over 12 years at this point. There we go. Yeah, uh, keep keep asking questions about streaming. I I think it's a great topic. And has anyone uh, after some of this conversation, I, has maybe this has got, gotten you to actually give streaming a shot in the future? Let me know. How do I cancel somebody's, someone else's Twitch account so I can steal their name? Uh, go fuck yourself. That's how. Dude hasn't been live in over six years. Oh, you're not talking or about me. If they've, if they've been active at all, um, I think we don't recycle their name. I don't know Damn if it. we recycle names at all. We might. Damn it. I don't know. Damn it. What name do you want? Megarush. Oh. I thought Literally they the user did, for Megarush. Though, because... Didn't Emil get his that way? No, he's a big YouTube personality. That's different. Any advice for networking? Um, uh, I would say join different communities. I recently joined a good example. Not my intent. Some of you might even be there uh, from it. But uh, the make a good Mega Man level community with me... Uh, I was just uh, playing the games, and that was it. Fucking hate Jetpack Guy so much. Guy, is that one of the people from the community? Half the time, you kind of just find communities uh, yeah. on your own, and, or just start making one. How do I deal yep. with burnout? Change up what you're playing. I, I could never play the same game. I, I would quit streaming very fast if I had to play one game over and over again. Jenny, thanks for stopping by. Thank you, shitload of Lama Lama. Uh, no, that's cringe. Only Kakusho would do something so uh, terrible like that. Damn, dude, throwing Kakusho under the bus. Not even me. I mean, you don't deserve it. Fuck, dude. Ouch. It hurts. You know what? It hurts even more. Fucking being Kakusho. Nah, dude. see, Kakusho's cool. He's he's great. Kakusho's a good man. Yes. I just need a good AVI to HDMI. I don't even use those. Give it start, give it start, give it start, give it start. Give Best way to network is talk to people. Yeah, there's people here. That's a great way. You meet you meet some new friends in streams. It doesn't have to be the streamer. You could you could just find people from talking in a stream, and then it's like, oh shit, wait, I actually like a lot of the same shit as them. 
like I mentioned earlier, uh, you know, Vicar Dragon Ball Luigi and Pyronic were like, oh, you know, we both like uh, TF2 and we both want to stream it. Fucking stream it together. You could get along really well. Literally most of the pe like the groups that I'm around with were friends groups of friends groups of friends groups. Yeah, that's how it works. Do you want to know how I met one of my best friends, G? Simple story. Yes. Uh, when I was playing Payday 2 with G, well, it was specifically John. Uh, what ended up happening was he's like, I gotta invite my friend. Is it cool if he joins? And I was like, sure. I, I'm gonna be entirely honest. Around new people, I get extremely anxious, uncomfortable. I'm like, oh, who's this loser? I, I think that to myself like every time. I know it's a bad habit. It's, it's a very real thing. I'm sure a few people in the chat get like that. We're like, nope, new person, scary. I don't wanna, I don't wanna I don't. talk to them. But uh, change. I know. So after after I warm up a bit though, I'm like, oh, you're a really cool person, and you know, it happens every time. Very very real thing though, and uh, you know, that's how I met G. Y you gotta meet people though from just you know talking talking to friends of friends. To that point, never turn your nose up at somebody you meet. Uh, you never know who you're gonna meet through them, or just if they're gonna turn out to be a cool person. Like for networking, they may seem like. All right, walk away from any kind of douche, but like, just because they're not a big name doesn't mean they're not worth networking with. Yeah. I I would hate it if someone used me, but uh, you know, I'm happy to just befriend people. And like, I I have heard claims that uh, you know, I I only I'm only interested in uh, you know, supporting people on Twitch that uh, let's say you know that benefits me. That's fucking ridiculous. I would never do that. That's just stupid. I, I just yeah, like shouting out me. streamers. He would never shout out me ever. Yeah, I, say, he I shout you me. out. Trust me, that's not. I true. I shout Shamrock out, and he doesn't even stream. It's to encourage him to stream. I'm like, you should do it. Do I get anything out of it? Fuck no. That's a that's a really bad habit. Um, nobody should ever think that. Yeah, that's that's how it is, Kurt Bull. It's 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 a very real thing. But like, that's that's how it is with me. I just like to shout out people that are cool, do what I do for fun, and hey, if it works out, it works out. I like to be upfront, I like to be transparent. I also like trans rights, unrelated, but I mean, hey, it's human yeah. rights. Trans rights is human rights. I'd ban anyone who says otherwise. Why is it not letting me hit? Go. Yo, what up, He's man? Sneaking. sneaking these nuts. Damn. Oh, oh, Millie? Oh. Millie, you can pop in. We're, we're talking about streaming. That's. I don't know how we even got to that point tonight, but this just became. Let's talk about streaming, and I'll. I'll uh, we're having a streaming pep talk while I just. Play this game because I needed something to talk over. Yeah, Redneck, 100%. Uh, that's something I agree. You sh should not let them stream. Maybe. What was it? Uh, Redneck was saying his son keeps pestering to let him stream, no. but he's under the age limit. When, he, when he's old enough, because you're going to meet some people who uh, will say some nasty stuff. Mm hmm. That kind of exposure to the internet is not healthy for someone of that. Of, you know, I, I assume they're like seven anything, or something. Really. Maybe when they're like 12. I would say personally 15 because the internet well, why is Why don't we ask Deef? The official Deef age on the terms 13. of service is 13. There you go. I believe if an adult streams with a child, it is considered to be adult streaming and it is acceptable. Yep. But yes, must I know. Be if the some adult people do streaming, that. make sure you're the one who signs up, and this isn't you signing them up. Yeah, don't don't be that parent. I hated that at the movie theater where they would like drop their kid off to go watch um, the R-rated movie, or they would buy themselves a ticket and then fuck off. I I called them out on it every time. Like, no, 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 no. I see you leaving. You have to stay in the theater. It's the same thing. Yeah. The um, technically, they need your permission to create an account under the age of eighteen. 
if I remembered the toss correctly. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that, Redneck. Five years since you started streaming, hell yeah. It's... It is very likely that 13 is too young, but oh, that yes. is what U.S. culture or U.S. law basically puts mm -hmm. it at um, for, I believe it's certain data collection things, which is why if Twitch finds out that someone is under the age of 13, you're supposed to report them because they're not supposed to be on the site because we could get in trouble. It's the same reason for Facebook, Twitter, etc. Yeah. Oh, I know I said I had enough of uh, Overcooked and I was supposed to be, you know, getting ready for uh, bed and shit. Guess what I'm doing, playing, Juker? Playing more Overcooked? Of course you well, are. I'm not playing Overcooked. Even better. Setting up a multi world Lufia too? Nope. Playing Llama Lana. I was okay. about to say, there's only one Fucking thing left. <laughs> Llama Lana, every time. Isn't that what in our go too? No, no, it's not God, yet. If if he he, he would have been playing that tonight. Yeah, 100%. When that hits, when that hits Archipelago, I'll probably be on almost every single day. I thought there was. Isn't, <laughs> isn't it the second? No, there there is no multi world for either of them. I can't wait to get you that yes. shitty bracer that you don't like. I mean, this is the only Baldur thing I'm gonna send off. you. It's only Spalder for sent. Or maybe it was in their upcoming list that they had uh, working on. People are working on it, but it is a. Uh, it's a thing. It turns out that big RPGs are hard games to add to Archipelagos. Uh, it's not even that, it's just the way that uh, Lama Lana is programmed. Yeah, does it's it a pull, kind of a shit game. Does it pull Paper Mario bullshit? Or uh, I just life? think it's the way it's set up, literally. Sorry, I should say Thousand Year Door bullshit. Thousand Year Door is programmed very tightly, but also terribly. <laughs> no, no, I think mind. this one is just the way it's... I'm trying to remember what... Somebody explained... It, to me, at one point, I'm like, Jesus Christ, yeah, that makes sense that you can't do that, then. Oh, sweet. Uh, it's Zamza. I mean, I mean, Slash. Oh, fuck, what is it? My favorite, like, shit pile of coding has to be the, uh, the trade system from, like, Victoria 2, if you know anything about that. I've heard Legend. It, it's got... It got like altered and changed so much that the programmers don't even know how it fucking functions anymore <laughs> that doesn't surprise me like it just it's it just works it's like i don't know <laughs> when when you are oh we could do one of those games where it's like there's you were either simulating economics down to an individual level or just doing whatever the fuck you can to make it so that if someone's abusing a system it gets patched out like, economic simulation is fucking difficult. Dwarf Fortress, which is the game above games for simulation of stuff. It is the simulation, that is correct. It is the mm -hmm. simulation game. Doesn't have economy right now on a yet. fort level. Yet. But it did. But it wasn't working because they pulled it out. Or so they had to pull it out. Like... Simulating an economy is fucking hard. Simulating trading is fucking hard. <laughs> Break from streaming at the moment, mainly because I streamed over 200 plus days last year. Oof, jeez. Yeah, I set a schedule. I only stream on those days unless, uh, surprise, surprise, John's not streaming because I like having an audience. I say it a lot, but it's true. Y'all know it's true. Don't even hide it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're not. But uh, those are the, like, MAGFest, uh, since I will not be making it, I will absolutely be streaming, like, every day. But normally, I just do four days, and that's how I don't get burnout, is I pick a few days to stream. Those are always the days that I'm live, and uh, I think getting a schedule definitely helps, and planning things in advance. I plan what I want to stream. Nah, terrible, now that I'm on the West Coast, it's a little bad. bit harder. I just, I play in the week out, that's it. And then I, I usually announce it near the end of the stream and be like, alright guys, uh, here's what we're doing coming up.
Streaming steals all the Wi-Fi from the family. I mean, oh, I stream. Uses mostly I stream at night out. anyway. It's mostly because this is just when I would have been streaming uh, in the past. The issue is that even if it does steal up, you're still flooding Wi-Fi. So if you have garbage Wi-Fi, you're gonna be in a kind of shit situation. Yeah. Uh, Wi-Fi is a system that barely holds itself together. Yeah, I'm surprised we still use it. It works, so it got built upon. Convenience. For some reasons. Yeah. It, it's like any. It's like any basic thing. The, that okay, uh, the, goes to production. It's somebody built a proof of concept. They said, good enough, ship it. Okay. And it's been built upon forever. Technically, I should say, the smart systems for Wi-Fi, like the shit that gets installed in businesses, like your Cisco and your Ubiquiti systems, those are fine because they're smart enough to not yell it into the void at each other. The issue is your shit systems you get from your ISP. That's, That's the true. issue. Yeah, if you've got uh, one of those rental routers from your uh, provider, those things are hot garbage, sorry to say. <laughs> Absolute <laughs> garbage. Um, I have law, one of those, I think. By, but... by law, um, a ISP cannot charge you for a router, but then give you an option to not switch it out. So if you are paying for the rental router, you're probably paying about a third of its value each month. You can buy your own and have better mm -hmm. everything yeah and get your money back in like four months yeah by law they cannot prevent you from getting your own router if yeah, they charge get, for it get a decent one can, for what 80 100 bucks if that at most what they can do is they can make it very difficult to play with their ecosystem with your router but but they most cannot of the stop time, you yeah most of the time really not like it's not much I, I, as an AT&T user who has had to set theirs into bridge mode um, they will do everything to try to wash their hands of support they will do everything they can to try to fuck you not using their router sounds like every in ISP fact, in fact they straight up say you know uh, I told them well, I don't want your router and modem combo I'm not going to use it they're like well we're going to leave it with you because your shit won't work otherwise I'm like okay I'm not paying for it and those are just the magic words yeah, the um, I finally managed. I was running into network issues actually, and I was on the line with the tech, and I'm like, and I said, hey, I'm going to switch this out to only use my base router, and can you give me the credentials to to just run this through? And it's like I'm going to have to go up the chain for this. I'm and happy so that I, I, I live in an apartment complex, so like my internet has to be good, or else the entire complex will fucking complain. Yeah. Um. But yeah, the guy actually went up the chain for me because he had to. Got the credentials or permission to give me the credentials. And I don't have a router anymore. I just have one box. Okay, I have three boxes, but that's because I'm a nerd. Yeah. And that's not counting boxes, the power bar or... Those aren't boxes. Yeah, they are. They're empty boxes. Full of pepes. Oh, that's what you mean. I thought you were referring to litter boxes. <laughs> Those are also boxes. <laughs> As box in the name. Well, quite literally, those are boxes. Dreaming with They're the trays. hangover? What hangover? Well, okay, doing, it depends on, depends on what you have for a litter box. For uh, you again, your guild, I don't need that. Your stack. I'm, I'm just having fun tonight. We had a lot Build of fun earlier. Building out a home network is something fun to do, though not everyone needs to do it. I will say, if you have the ability to run cable to, like, your all your shit, building out a home network is probably worth it for the quality of life upgrade. 100 plus, it's a great selling point if you ever have to sell a house. Yeah, that too. If I've you got say, two hey, jacks got... in every fucking room. Mm -hmm. And literally, I would not consider a house that does not have the ability for me to run in wall Ethernet. <laughs> No, I've straight up told my real estate agent that, and she goes, you guys are so fucking picky. I'm like, no, I just don't want to run Wi-Fi everywhere. Well, what's the problem with that? Running Wi-Fi everywhere means you have an added latency of like a tenth of a second to everything. Yep. No, I just take them to my third floor, and I show them literally all the crap I have running. I go, 
Oh my god, you see stop. this wall of 22 different appliances? Every last one of these appliances is running. No. <laughs> Please help me. They're like, you know how your daughter complains that her Wi-Fi is slow when she goes near all the crap in your house? And you have 22 appliances in your house? I have 22 appliances in one fucking room. <laughs> Tables are better, but they love building things to make that really fucking hard on you. Yep. Um, it's, it's less... Very little is done for no reason, and very little is done for a bad reason of that grouping, of the large grouping that is, that has a reason. Like, a lot of the time, it, running cable through a wall can suck because you have to bypass a fire break. Yeah, most places do not want to get or fiber. Solution. I used to have fiber in New York, uh, don't have it here in Cali. I think I have fiber. I'm very glad for it. Breathly. Mm -hmm. I said briefly. <laughs> I'm just being weird, ignore me. No. Uh. Point, point and last. That's actual bombs. Okay. Put them on, turn that on. Reader, turn that on. Alright, turn that on. This is actual bombs, which I care about. Why am I playing this game at fucking 3 in the morning? Because you've lost control of your life. Nice, the actual crucifix. Come on. Anyone got any other uh, streaming related questions? I'm still happy to answer them. I'm pretty much always going to answer them if anyone asks about anything. Exactly, one more thing to press. Eat the pizza! Yes! Oh, perfectly timed. Now to figure out. No, Turbo, I'm talking serious questions. You, you almost never ask a serious question, so most of the time I ignore them. Nope, okay, it's still doing the thing. Fucking knife galzia is oh my god every time. There we go. Whoever thought the knife galzia was a good enemy, I need to meet them and I need to talk to them. I need to have a very serious conversation with who thought knife galzia was a good idea. How could I destroy the ISP not monopolies? Not a streaming question, it can't help you with that, sorry. Uh, you um, can create your own ISP actually. Or that. Uh Both Chattanooga somebody in Chattanooga did that to incredibly effectiveness. To the point where I believe they got bought out by the municipality. Fucked up. Um, what and you the can municipality do, kept running it well. What you can also do is you can also push the municipality to um, do it on their own. Municipal ISPs are, I believe, a thing that is officially allowed. Um, uh, here's here's a good one. Hold on. Uh, anything about custom alerts? Okay. Well, that I can't help you with that, and there's a good reason. Depends on your stream. What do you what do you find that people would have fun setting off or things that you really like? For instance, is there anyone not following me? There you could just follow right now. It's not gonna work if you unfollow, but like, or if you want to drop one bit, if you have bits left over, there's there's you'll see there's different things or uh, raiding. If you want to just do a one man raid, you could do that. You don't even need to be streaming to do raids, which is hilarious. I've definitely fucked with people by doing that. But uh, yeah, there's different alerts. You'll see they're they're all different stuff, and they're just things that I wanted to make alerts. I have to do that for my own. Or this? What? Do you, you better not be doing what I think you're doing. Nice, nice, very nice. You stop that. <laughs> Thank you, though. I appreciate it. I'm gonna try and go for a 1cc here. I'm not gonna guarantee a 1cc, but if a 1cc happens... There you go. Great, great example. You see that alert? I, for either one? They're different things. They're just things that I like. 
And uh, Draco was nice enough to make me some alerts. Oh no. It only just occurred to me you wanted to show an alert, not a chatter badge. You, you missed that one. You gotta try another one. There is actually a very low chance you actually will hit that bottle on that alert. Favorite application? Uh, to stream with? OBS, oh, yes. easily. We mentioned that earlier. OBS. How do you add an alert? Um, you go to the website that you're using a source of. And it could be Streamlabs, maybe don't use Streamlabs. Um, Stream Elements is one that is good. Streamlabs, you, you just don't use them for, you know, they, they kind of stole a lot of assets. My and didn't credit people. I'm not allowed to share because it hurts people's computers. Streamlabs. Um, the two oh shit! Streamlabs. He got it. Looks like he got the bottle. Mouse, not a light gun. Holy shit! I don't fancy my chances. Um, so Streamlabs had a few things going for them. Um, they were largest by order of being wow. largest. Um, but they're no longer largest. I think. Are they still largest? I don't know. I think they are because people are just too lazy to change. Um, but the thing is, um, I don't know if it happened, if it was happening before they got bought or after, but they started kind of becoming a really garbage and scummy company. Um, the biggest thing though, that I will always point to is Streamlabs OBS, which is yes. not the name of it anymore. And the reason it's not the name of it anymore was because OBS called them out publicly for explicitly denying them permission to use the OBS name, and they did it anyway. Um, and Great OBS company. was like, fine, screw you, but whatever. Until all the other shit that they did came out. And then OBS was like, yeah, no, th this is something we told OBS they're not, or Streamlabs they're not allowed to do. And then Streamlabs was like, oh, we're sorry. Oz, bro. You're like, no. No. You're a garbage company that was Absolutely. bought by someone and has been focusing on the money aspects and the data aspects. Was, was Streamlabs years. good at one point? Probably. I mean, I used it. Streamlabs was fantastic early on. Yeah, right do, not, do not redeem that. It's We're, we're helping test stuff for uh, Twitch staff here. Uh, not we, we for listen Twitch. To no, not, not, this yes. is not for Twitch. But he is Twitch staff, so you have to listen I to am, him. I am Twitch staff. Just note that this is not for Twitch. This is my personal yes. stuff. I have to specify it that. Is, it is a important. personal thing. Yes, that is important. But also, you know I'm more so pointing out, he's, he's Twitch staff. You have to listen to him or, you know, you could get in some deep doo-doo. He, maybe. I don't know. No, seriously, it's not a joke. Don't, Do it again oh, by the way, you. uh, when are you banning coal? <laughs> Why? He I'm asked him cool. to. He asked, yeah, for, for, for my request. Did he say ban me, daddy? Because that's how you get banned. Yeah. Probably even watching this. Probably not. <laughs> probably live. Oh, uh, he was live earlier when we were playing. He's probably yeah. ahead if I had to guess. Okay, is it up right now? All right, I one of the I worst bosses coming up. The rest of the stuff offline. Give me a second. When I when I tell you guys, then we can we can mess around with silly thing. Uh, silly thing might be coming online shortly. Hey, Drew, you got that two minute timer? I, I do not remember. I was like, I don't I don't actually have a timer. Oh, I thought well, you spent a little bit a second to set that up. No, I, I, I can get one. I can just tell people when to start and start. I mean, I have my phone in front of me. Oh, fair. That's fine. Mind. Oh yeah, you're you're in, you're, you're in voice, so you could just tell people. Yeah. Uh, where's my clock app? There's my clock app. I'm just shooting people the in my head. Two, zero minutes, zero seconds, two minutes. All right, chat. Reminder that when I say stop, please stop. It is very important that we don't overload things. Yeah, there will be a bit of a delay. We, we get that, but... But the after... delay should be consistent from my start call to my stop call. So, two minutes, 
and then we're done. Counting down. And and for, for anyone who doesn't know, this is the one point roll a gotcha channel re reward redemption. So counting down. Three, two, one, go. Go, oh, spam it. Spam it as hard as you can. Oh my god, watching it on the left side of my dashboard. <laughs> see, I stream in a way where I can even see the dashboard and the alerts in case I miss anything. So it's just funny. Boop, 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 Which channel am I looking at? Jukers. Mine. I'm the only one streaming. Let Ryan will over it, then Ryan. So the thing we're testing here is a channel point reward redemption system. Kind of, sort of, duh. Um, the... What I'm hoping to use this for eventually is a much larger chat, like by about 10x. So <laughs> who knows, but I need to test that it doesn't break or that it does break and figure you out if it does break. Give me the postman call and I can just uh, flood it that way. Uh, hmm? No, because you don't have the, the auth. Because <laughs> guess who has a public key? <laughs> so, can, I not so, okay. the, can I not steal the auth from the so actual it... call being made on my browser? No, I mean... Um, I thought you were referring to make a post to my backend. No, 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 no. I was talking about making the exact same call, except using Postman to just ramp it up. Fucking hate um, you. Please don't. Crocodile. Because that'll probably get you rate limited on Twitch's side, and I don't want to endorse that. I should not have <laughs> lost that life. Oh, oh I'm mad about that. Mad about uh, that. Was it Shamrock that was asking the question, or Time Thief? I was going to ask, like, what exactly are you... What, what specifically are you testing? Just... Um, Right now, I'm doing all the... some load testing. Oh. Um, this is basically running through... 15 seconds, by the way. Um, this is running through making sure that the number of awards that get called get properly claimed. Um, okay. And that everything gets gets handled properly. Three, two, one, stop. Okay, as soon as you hear that, no more, no more redeems. Stop it now! Stop. Stop, we say. Thank you for the assistance, everyone. We will now see how dead my system is. Very well behaved. Past this point, you risk a bonk. You know what you did, Mooch? Time Thief? Bonk him. Nice, nice. Very nice. There's the bonk. Happy second Thanks, Tom Nook. I appreciate year. it. I think they all redeemed. Oh, oh sweet. That's I'm good. pretty sure they all redeemed because I'm looking at the queue in here on 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 mod view and I don't see any. I I can't wait for chat to even see what the fuck they've been redeeming the dumb shit that I added. <laughs> Steve basically told me feel free to shit post, put whatever dumb stream memories you want into the uh, thing. Mm. These these will eventually become like triggerable rewards. Juker, hopefully. Uh, and there there will gonna... be 50 of them that are very stupid. <laughs> oh, that's... I need to make one more call. There we go. I need to ask. I need to Why ask. Why do you need to help. make one more call? He wants to get his point value to a certain number. Oh god. No. I, I don't. I don't need to ask. I'm just like I know. No, that's not why. Uh, guys, please don't. Seriously, stop. Don't stop. anymore. When I said these will eventually... Okay, Orion, I'm sorry, but that's a timeout. You can't timeout Jake, sadly. He's he's a mod, but you should time him out. I would time myself out if I could. Jake knows what he did. Jake's an agent of chaos, though, so it's like, hmm. Is it not yeah. an XHR call? Um, I can't answer that, sorry. <laughs> That's that is actually something then. I know the answer to, but I can't tell you if you're right or wrong. <laughs> <laughs> As of like, I'm looking through my XHR traffic, I'm like, it's not here. And I Or I'm dumb and I'm just not seeing it. Hmm? What does it do? 
I'm literally just helping him test a thing. So everyone um, has it, been nice and helping. That's yeah, it. it. So eventually what will happen, eventually what will happen is Juker will be able to set a reasonable price on this. And you can spend channel points to trigger a random meme to show up on his channel. That's Who it? knows what meme it's going to be, but it's going to be a meme. Um, <laughs> Under JavaScript, where the fuck is it? Um, the website. And then you'll actually be able to go look at your history of what you've triggered and all the memes that you've triggered, which also means, uh, including the number of each meme that you've triggered, um, which also means that you'll be able to track uh, what stuff you've gotten or if you've got something really rare, like, what is it, get, shooting the bottle? Yeah, the, yeah, the shooting the bottle alert that I made really rare. That's the first yeah. person to ever get that. That's how I was like, oh, really? Oh, wow, yeah. nice. So yeah, theoretically, you'll be able to say, oh, right, I got shooting the bottle. Um, and you'll be able to look at it and go, like, here's here's all the different memes that I've triggered. It's um, data. It's fun. Data's fun. Yeah. Um, what will eventually happen is that you'll actually be able to combine these with a, like, person-to-person -person fighter, hopefully, maybe, kind of, sort of. Yeah. We're like, still working the on the exact statistics on that and how that's going to work out. Um, but the goal is that, like, you can have your memes face off against each other. Or in John's case, you can have um, the different the different rows of Johns face off against each other. Or in um, in the case of someone who might stream uh, like Civ Five or whatever, you can have the different characters representing the different nations fight off against each other, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Th Think of it almost as like trading cards. Yeah, basically, it's it's gonna be a it's gotcha. It's free. Also, it's just channel points. Uh, that's that's fascinating. I have to get up at noon. It is but you also have to finish the Lana Lana seed. No, I already gave up on that seed. Wow. You know who wouldn't have given up on that? Fucking Kakusho. No, he 100% would have given up on that by now. Oh yeah, he absolutely would have. <laughs> no, it was it was a toxic as fuck seed. I bet. Because you know what's a lot of fun? Not having jump. Lama no, having only sub weapon gun trying to navigate a what's it called? Uh, not shrine of the mother, tower of the goddess in the dark. Trying oh, to turn gross! The fucking light gross! Down. I Get love navigating places I can't see with only a gun. I don't even have clips to just leave. Ugh, I have to clean all this up tomorrow. Wah. Wah, adulting. No, I've got a friend coming over, so I have to clean up my office because he's never been to the house, so, you know, obligatory house tour. Oh. Frame rate's going very slow. What happened? I don't know. It's not crashed. It, it, I mean, it's a hack, so... Hmm. Let's speed this up. Oh, there we go. Well, that was an interesting thing. Good thing I could speed the emulator up. Good news, everybody. Screen overload, I don't know. I think it was screen overload. Because the these are high-quality sprites. I mean, just look at them. Those are pretty nice sprites. Pretty well-detailed background and stuff as well. Well, I was hoping it wouldn't CC, but I had to throw away a life there, so that kind of sucks. There it is. Fucking Rat King, get out of here, dude. Yo, get ratted. Rat. Slip away quietly and go to bed. Okay. Have yourself a good night. Thanks for. Let me invade, basically. Anytime, friends. Anytime, man. Dude, even in my own streams, people could just... If, if you have access to the voice room, I'm always like, yeah, you just fucking join, I don't care. I mean, I show up randomly all the time. That's a and dangerous that, I mean, power to give me, because I'm just gonna pop in, say some random shit. You can, I don't care. That's not you gonna stop me from saying something worse. You have to understand, Juker's not a profession. I made that very clear today. I, I tried to say that. I'm like, I'm not. Yeah, Dan's the only professional. <laughs> Even he ain't no, I was gonna be like John. John's the only one who I really wouldn't go in and just be like, Mleh! and leave. Yep. Mostly I've only done that a couple of times. Yeah, I don't, I don't like doing that. 
I've only done it a couple times, and it's usually because it's like, okay, like I can't just type this out. I need to pop in. And yep, I've I've done that. That's like the only times. But yeah, no. If it weren't his livelihood, one hundred percent, I would just abuse my powers in that chat. Uh, how do I make room for more board games? The eternal question. You don't. I do. My wall is full. I must figure out how to combine things to make it less full. Wait a minute, are you just empty boxes right now? Because if you're just empty boxes, no. you are the candidate. Uh, the channel point redeemer, that, that's the only thing, is the one point thing. It's only there for test. But yes, I'm, I'm happy to help test. I have found more room. You can go in the closet of excess box shame. It, like no. that is only a point, so it could be redeemed, and that's mm -hmm. that's it. Yeah. The um. There's currently a bug in my setup for this. Um. So, first thing, I'm pretty sure everyone's redemption went through based on that, the fact that, that there rules. was nothing in the um. In the list, and I do not see. Oh, I need to up that. No, my pizza. Pizza's on. No, I can't believe I just fucking lost two lives to random junk. Pizza's on. It looks like there's a bunch of them I am not losing a third life. Not not to this, at least. Him before he loses a third life. I already grabbed the pizza. That's not happening. He's going to do it, chat. He's going to lose a third life. He's going to get salty. He's going to start morbing. Nope. I do not see a single error on that. See, clearly what I should do with Camille after this is one game of GeoGuessr, because like you have to pay for the subscription. I don't want to do that. You should totally just do one joke game of GeoGuessr where we go to France. Yeah. She'll know where it is immediately, I guarantee you. Mm, France, France is a big enough company. Or yeah. pink company, yes. France is a big enough company. It, I mean, France isn't real, so yeah. Oh. Uh-uh. It's Denmark, that's a myth. And there's a 50-50 shot Denmark might not exist. Or not Denmark, ah, uh, Finland. Uh, no, Sam Belgium? Sam exists. <laughs> I trust Sam Sam. He lives in, uh... He lives in Finland. I have to trust him. I wonder how many wars have happened in Europe. It may be nothingness <laughs> now. <laughs> I'm surprised it hasn't been reduced to waste. Yeah. There, there's a streamer I watch who does the What's a Belgium joke because of a screw up he made like a decade ago because he forgot something. Oh, yeah, Belgians are a myth too. Yeah, the, the, the France is a myth thing uh, started because of my friend Oozworm. Uh, during GeoGuessr, he kept ending up in France. He's like, the Fran this, this can't be France. And he kept getting France. <laughs> he just got to the point where he was like, fuck this. I like France. fucking with people who just don't know any better and uh, say, oh yeah, I speak Belgian. You're a horrible person. <laughs> You're a horrible person. That's Dutchman. really funny. That's... Um, that is 439. France was somewhere I've always wanted to visit. You can't. It's not real. I, I'm gonna keep saying it. Did you really think the place that made totally spies is a real place? Come on. That's not a real place. Free life. There's no way totally spies that country is real. Australia is just paid actors. I believe it. Do you really think Traz exists? I can't believe you fucking snitched me, by the way, Deep. I'm so mad about that. You never you never snitched to him. That's like the one person you never snitched to. I'm never going to hear the end of it. 
Even though he already knows. I, th he, I thought he Australia were just humans being puppeted by the spiders. It's true. I mean, I, there's a video of Traz where he found a massive fucking spider in his house, and he was like, oh shit, that's a big spider. And it's just regular. Uh, that, was, that was like a baby. Oh, crikey. He did say crikey in that video, that is true. And even then, it's crikey. That's a big spoiler. Yeah, this ain't this ain't a one CC chat, but hey, we're gonna play it to the end. That's a real spider. I think they used it as something in Monster Hunter because they were like, "There's something similar to that, so we can use that in the new game." I mean, now that I say Monster Hunter, your your ears perk up. You're like, "Well, hold on." Yeah, the Ragnar Kadachi. Monster Hunter? Monster Hunter? <laughs> I mean, my two loves. Monster Hunter and La Moana. And Mega Man. Uh, and Mega Man, yeah. And Super Mario World. Oh, and my wife. And dirt. He's there, Ryu. See you in Street Fighter 6, everyone. Hey, my name is Ryu from Street. From Streets. Sail bread. Water without any ice. And dirt. I have something that fits in that small void. Oh my god, these requests are so stupid sometimes. I'm looking at all of the request traces that got made. And some of them, it's like 400 milliseconds of literally nothing happening. And then everything happens in less than five. Like, you suddenly had no priority, and then all of the priority. <laughs> the exploding trees, it's real. That's why they used it in Earthbound. of having to rearrange an entire collection. Would hate to do that. Figured it out. Okay. stop you though uh camille which, which of the totally spies are you because i mean let's All be real you, ha you have She's to be amazing. one of them yeah camille is totally spies he says she's mom for martin mystery which is also an acceptable answer Yo, Cupo, what's up? How you doing? We've been talking about streaming today. Thanks for the raid. Happy New Year. Happy Happy Bee Year. I killed a lot of bees this year already. Did you? Cupo, I mean, if you tier 3 subbed for an entire year, I'd consider maybe not killing bees. But, I mean, I you know, that's only a maybe. I can't, I can't really agree to that. That's That's a commitment.
Yeah, Casey Jones is just Ungabunga Gorilla Man who uh, really likes sports for some reason. Get out of here, Stone. Yeah, if you don't know your Ninja Turtles, this is a Ninja Turtles uh, fan favorite character. You can be all for Ninja Turtles, uh, April O'Neil. You can be uh, Splinter. You can be Casey. They're all characters in Treasure's Revenge. Unga Bunga, you're going to Brazil. I would never go to Brazil because it does not exist. How could I go to a place that does not exist? I, j I can't go to somewhere that doesn't exist. It's very simple. Honestly, I'm pretty proud of that regardless because we had some uh, we had some rough glitches and such. Well, you're getting wamboed on the early boss. Wamboed on the early boss. Uh, the, the the having to fast forward to get out of a strange thing. Get the fuck out of here. No. Streets of Revenge. Well, this is, yeah, this is Shredder's Re-Revenge, is what they called it. Really good hack, honestly. Yupo, uh... How many bees should I kill while, uh... By the end of the year, you know? Figured I'd ask now. Get out of here, Knife Galzia! This is just the Knife Galzia room of this game. None? Well, that's that wasn't an option, so... If you had said one, I would have agreed, but, I mean, it's too late now. These nuts. Love it. Why are we killing bees, though? Bees are good. We like Oh, uh, Kupo gets angry every time I say I'm deleting bees from existence. You should. Yeah, they're uh, literally critical they, to the environment. They are. You're absolutely right. I put them into the paper shredder. But that's all the more reason for me to be like, oh, I gotta make an enemy uh, in, in Twitch, so... I've chosen oh, Kupo. You're putting, you're putting grades, in, like, B grades, not B animals, into the Shredder. Uh -huh. Speaking of Shredder, did you guys see Red Letter Media's new thing they just did? They finally watched uh, Nuki. But uh, they, they, were, they did a video that was really fascinating to me on grading uh, any kind of thing. You know, like games and such. But specifically, they were doing it on um, VCR tapes. You know, VHS tapes and such. So, it was just really fascinating to hear them uh, talk about that stuff. And then at the end of the video, they were like, yeah, we finally watched Nuki, but we destroyed every other copy of Nuki we had. They, they had, like, over a couple hundred, because people kept sending them. And uh, it got to the point where they were like, all right, well, um, we may as well watch this before we shred them all. And then we have the one that's preserved, and it's super rare now, because we destroyed every other copy that we had. And it's just, like, the way they destroyed it was they were like, let's just get, like, a wood chipper and just fucking throw all the copies in there. Oh, it was beautiful. Ohio exists, it does. Unfortunately. 
Grading in general is BS. Like, what what makes that copy more rare, you know? There, I, I, I don't really get it. I think there are realistically like three kinds of collectors. There's museum level collectors, in which case it That's makes fine. sense for them to have the highest quality possible for, for sure. as long of preservation as possible, because you're high, the higher your starting point, the longer it can be preserved. Um, then you've got your like high level collectors who are like trying to complete collections so that they can say they have a collection. Um, like John. Like John, or like Stephen. Um, and then you've got the people who just want to play the games. Rating doesn't okay. matter for the for the third group. Don't forget your speculators. It barely matters for the second. The only reason it matters for the first is because they're the people who do that job to make sure that something stays preserved. Those are the people who are good people when it comes to collecting video games. Mm -hmm. My my favorite thing of that uh, speculators. My, my favorite thing though this video was they actually sent in a fake tape to see if it was bullshit and uh, they actually respectfully couldn't grade it because it wasn't real. They just, they made it like with tons of red flags that it was fake and they were like, yeah, here's here's everything wrong about this VHS. It doesn't exist. So let's see if they grade it and say it's worth anything. And they were like, oh no. Surprisingly, they sent us a letter saying it was not a real video that we had, which honestly, that's kind of cool. And yeah, as, as Lightsell said, museum level collectors can identify the quality themselves. Now, it it makes sense to have some kind of quality scale to compare against, but you only really do that if you're talking to another museum to say, hey, we have this in really good condition, but we don't have its sequel. Do you have a sequel in reasonable condition that we could display for a bit that we could borrow? Like, It's NRFE, you know? You know what that means, right? No. Never removed from box. I know it because of a Dexter's Lab episode, but it's a real collector's thing. Um, it's actually the other way around, Beats of Love and Wolf. It's not the most popular games that are expensive. Um, it's the unpopular games that yeah, are Yeah, really absolutely. Like, um, because they don't track and field anymore. That one track and field game on the NES, uh, super expensive. They're, they, like, re-released it, and, like, nobody bought it. And it became one of the most expensive NES games. Because there's like such a limited number of copies. Yeah. The, yeah, let's like put um, it in perspective. Yeah, the, the the Super Mario World you might want for the Super Nintendo is like fifty bucks, but it's gonna stay at fifty bucks. Mm -hmm. It ain't yeah, moving. Like, <laughs> but also, you can just buy it on the eShop if you want. If you give it twenty years, the people that want a copy will have increased, but the number of people who have a copy won't have changed. So like. It will go up in price a little bit, but yeah, for some of those rare games, the the fucking um, Nintendo Championship Edition, like the gold cartridge, that goes for fifteen thousand dollars because it's fifteen of them or something stupid for those numbers. Like, it's rare because it's gen or it's expensive because it's genuinely rare. <laughs> Mind you, that is convenient for the schmups like me who just want to complete a collection from their childhood. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. I sold a lot of my old games too. I wish I didn't. Yeah, Plus my GameCube, uh, uh, not not GameCube, it was Game Boy. Sold for like a hundred dollars and as a kid I thought that was a lot. To GameStop of course, because I was stupid. hundred dollars to GameStop for a GameCube, yeah. Not, not, not for GameCube, for Game Boy. Oh God. Yeah, I sold my entire collection. It was like a hundred dollars and I was like, that is honestly not worth it at all. I wanted to get an Xbox 360 so I could play COD with my cousin. I believe it. Terrible decision. Yeah. I got to play Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, which I love from an. Genuinely great game, yeah. No, I hate when people say it's a bad game because they've never played it. It's or maybe they played it for five Banjo. minutes. It's, a great it's not a, Yeah, game. absolutely. Great game. It's great card building game, great kart racing game. You can do anything with that game, and that's why it's great. Yeah. Like, I. I genuinely wish that game got a sequel with like extended mechanics and like, sure. more shit to build with. Cause, ah, fuck, what's the? There's a modern ver version of that game on like Steam. Uh, Castle Crash? Not Castle Crash. Um, Siege okay. Engine. Yeah, like Siege that. Engine. Um, where you build Siege Engines, and it's like you took a theme and you made an incredible game out of it. For Besiege, is that it? Yeah, I, I've seen it. It's it's cool. I saw Vine Sauce play it for a bit. Very physics based. 
very yes. physics based, very assemble your whatever the fuck you want and just run with it. It's like, this is amazing. Yeah, that reminds me, I have to stream at some point, I have totally accurate battle simulator. That's a fun one. Yo, tabs. Very silly tabs game. Let's let's do the smart thing. Um, Are you still in your first clear? No. Okay. Clear two. We got one more continue after this, so this is this is a run. He's in the pro strat of the knee drop. Dive kicks are always good in any game. They are. It's just, I've never seen a game with a bad dive kick. Even the game dive kick, all the dive kicks in that were just fucking 10 out of 10. It's just so safe. The only thing safer is the virus orb. So safe. Look at that, look at that drop. Is the Bart Recurring going to be like, I'll get my revenge. Woo! GG. Not the run I wanted. Uh, wouldn't have won cc it anyway, judging by the life count. I hope this has been a very educational stream, though. This was a lot of fun. Uh, you guys have anything you want to promote for some reason? Any of you? Archipelago.gg Give me half a second. Oop. Bugger. Um. There's my shout out. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, while you're doing that, I can't do both of them at the same time. I wish Twitch would change that. Feedback. Also, it, I would like it to show the game, because that's why I have both <laughs> shoutouts still. Yeah. God, that is such an old stream, holy fuck. Hello, I'm Rush, and welcome to not playing La Milana. Monster that was Hunter Monster Rise. Hunter Rise when it was new. Bruh. Um, Bruh. Uh, God, I gotta get the new amiibo for Rise. A new uh, one. Uh, do you actually need the amiibo? Yeah, I wanna. I just wanna scan it in. That's for my the... point. If you just wanna scan it in, I'll make one for myself, and then I'll send it to you. <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, I can give you the new address. Uh, it's it's like a Dracula outfit you get. It's pretty cool. For the DLC, yeah. I, I assume you have the DLC. Yeah, I've got Rise. I got Sunbreak. Yeah, I barely played the DLC. We gotta play sometime. Yeah, no, I, I just straight up done like three missions from it. That's same, it. same. I, I did it with Camille, and then we were we were just like other stuff came out. Yep. Um, Archipelago was a lot of fun, as always. Uh, shout out to Frank for uh, setting it together. Can, a lot can of fun. I do shout out of, of, of yeah, stuff. Yeah, absolutely. You're you're here. Um, if you want to do a poll on stream or otherwise, stream .tech, I have. Uh, what I think is currently the most feature-rich polling um, that, like, doesn't look like garbage on the internet. Mm -hmm. um, instant runoff, obviously, along with... Sorry. Um, first past the post, obviously, along with instant runoff and a, like, how much do you like this variant. Um, it pipes into Twitch chat if you set that up. Um, and then... Um, I am also planning on starting speedrunning... Paper Mario, uh, not Paper Ooh. Mario, goddammit, um, Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix as a way to get my ass to exercise. So, oh, yeah. um, that's my Twitch. Hell yeah. <laughs> that's funny as fuck. It's like really it. funny. That's a great <laughs> idea. <laughs> it's great. Oh, I will definitely follow because Steve, I didn't know you actually streamed my figure. You just, uh, I don't. I haven't streamed in literally years. This is going to also be a way to get me back into streaming. Well, let's, so. let's go, go follow Deep then. It's a great way. You set 25 followers, psh, we, we could skyrocket that up a little bit. Come what on. Am I at this point? I can't, I must have lost most of mine. All right, um, schedule for me though. Basically every day coming up, except I think tomorrow, because, you know, 
That's like the last stream for John, so. Pretty sure he's streaming tomorrow. Uh, I got a lot of stuff I need to do that's in the backlog. Some stuff coming up. Uh, we're gonna finish Chrono Trigger. That's a good one. We gotta, we gotta do that. I'm having a lot of fun with that. Mario Kart 8 custom maps and some other crazy mods with Popsky. Uh, that's a thing. He pitched the idea to me. We're just waiting. That's gonna happen. Uh, let's see. There's Community Night. We do that every Thursday. Uh, Friday. If we are for some reason done with Chrono Trigger next stream, we will do... I'm thinking... Uh, we'll start uh, Make a Good Mega Man level 48 hour contest, which... Again, it's already put together. We're just playing through levels, seeing how they are. That'll probably be the next big thing we do. We gotta play Freedom Planet. We're gonna do Sonic Adventure 2 All Emblems. Uh, the Luigi's Mansion, Luigi is a broke-ass bitch percent, uh, got met, so... Poor Luigi, he's not gonna help have any money, we're gonna beat the game. He can, he can get a little money, as a treat, but, like, we gotta get the worst rank. I think there is a minimum, because you have to collect the final thing. Yeah, the so, there's certain stuff I can get, so we're gonna have to play it a little, little, little sus. Minimum as possible. Yeah, thank you all. Uh, hopefully you had fun. Uh, Sundays for me are usually just some kind of theme. The theme today was just Archipelago. It was just fun to do. And then it just became, let's just play this while we just chat. So I, I don't think I could do a just chatting stream. I actually need like some kind of game. But uh, this was a lot of fun. What are we going to raid with? Uh, what is our raid message? Uh, oh no, Kevin, we're toast. What was that? I said, oh no, Kevin, we're toast. Oh no, Kevin, we're toast. That's a good one. I just want to just raid with just Kevin. Because that sounds way more ominous. <laughs> Who is Kevin and why is he raiding me? Mm -hmm. It's not a bad call. It will do, um... It will do just Kevin. I see we can raid, um, let's raid, uh, Paul. Paul's a good dude. I like Paul. That's, uh, Expo. We're gonna raid him. He's playing through, uh, Dad of Boy 2. Yo, Dad of Boy? Let's show him some love about, uh, Kevin. We're just gonna do Kevin. So, no stream tomorrow, but there's pretty much every day going forward we're gonna be doing streams while, while MAGFest is happening, because I ain't going. And most people are, so. If I had the money, I'd love to, but, you know, it's pricey. So, oh, if you're... Sure. Yeah, I, I hope so. Uh, I hope MAGFest is a lot of fun. Uh, if you're not going, we're, we'll, we'll have some fun. We'll do some silly things. It's gonna be just chill. We're gonna have some stupid times. Uh, hopefully, Popsky is ready for the chaos of uh, whatever those custom courses are. But uh, thank you all for watching. Stay safe. Be excellent to each other. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. And uh, until next time. Bye. Bye, all. Bye, everybody.